Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3 running Retro Pi, and I want to show you how to set up a Bluetooth DualShock 3 PS3 controller so you can use a wireless controller to control your emulators. Now this will work with the Raspberry Pi 1, 2, or 0 as long as you have a Bluetooth adapter. A few things to note, you will need to be connected to the internet and you will need a USB cable to connect your PS3 controller to the Raspberry Pi for the first boot here. And you will also need another controller, be it a keyboard or another USB controller. So there's a problem with RetroPie 3.6 right now. You can see I have one gamepad detected. This is a fresh install of RetroPie. I'm gonna hold X on my PlayStation 3 controller. And when I and brought to the configuration menu, I cannot program my D-pad. So I've, I've had this problem and I've found a fix for it, super simple. I'm gonna reboot the Raspberry Pi. We're gonna set up the first controller with a keyboard or another controller so we can get into the emulation station front end and change a few settings. So we're back at the welcome screen. I have my keyboard plugged in. I have a wireless USB keyboard. You can also use another wired controller if you'd like. I am going to hold enter on my keyboard. It detects my keyboard. Now there are two buttons that we really need to remember which key we program to. Actually, there are six buttons. I'm gonna program my D-pad as my arrow keys. I'm taking my start button as a Q, select doesn't matter, A as A on the keyboard. And then the rest of this you can just breeze through because we are not using this right now. We just need to navigate the menus using start, A, and the arrow keys. So whatever you find here will work. Press A when you get to your OK. We have the keyboard set up. We're going to scroll over to RetroPie, press A on your keyboard as long as you mapped A to your A button and Q to your start button. We're going to scroll down. You need to configure your Wi-Fi from here if you're using Wi-Fi. I am using Ethernet, so I will have no problem. Scroll down to RetroPie Setup, press A. From within this screen, we can use the keyboard as normal. Enter will be your select button and your arrow keys will navigate the menu. We want to scroll down to number three, which is setup configuration. Press enter. We want to scroll to number 310, install or pair PS3 controller. Scroll to number five. We want to remove the PS3 controller configuration. Hit enter for OK. Now we want to reinstall and pair PS3 controller. Now what this will do, we'll download the packages from online as long as you're connected to an online source, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Install the PS3 drivers in configuration and install them into RetroPie. And this can take up to two minutes depending on your connection speed. So just be patient, it will finish. I'm going to hit enter now. So after it finishes downloading and installing, you'll be brought to this screen. All you need to do is plug in your PS3 controller. It will register the Bluetooth address with the Raspberry Pi. Unplug your PS3 controller. Now press your PS button in the middle. You should feel it vibrate. We are now connected with Bluetooth on our PS3 controller. We'll hit OK. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Now from here, we need to set up our PS3 controller. Like I said, I mapped my keyboard. Q is the start button. Use my arrow keys, configure input. A is my A button. I'm gonna hold X on my PS3 controller. 
down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y. We now have a Bluetooth PlayStation 3 or DualShock 3 controller connected to our Raspberry Pi. And we are ready to play some awesome emulators with our Bluetooth controller. If you got any questions, leave a comment in the comment section or send me a private message. I do appreciate you guys watching. If this helped you out at all and you could help me out, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching.